Here we are back at Tiwa Beach again. Uh, you gotta love this place. How beautiful is that? You know, this old mate of mine, Pete. Say hello, Pete. Howdy. We just come up for a weekend and have a bit of a fish and have a relax. Well, not for the weekend, midweek actually, which is great because there's hardly anybody here and that's when to take advantage of this place. It's bloody amazing. But again, disappointing in some respects because we pulled up halfway across the beach and yeah there's rubbish everywhere but you know we're gonna learn sooner or later but we won't harp on that we're gonna enjoy the experience have some fun catch a few fish hopefully caught one beautiful whiting this morning already and uh, hopefully the rest of the work the rest of the couple of days we're here will be the same and again, it is stunning, absolutely amazing. But anyway, here we are, enjoying it, taking advantage of it, and a bit more to come. Now, I'll track with the D Max this time on this end, so I might give you a bit of a walkthrough on some of the stuff I've done to the D Max since the last uh, YouTube video. There's some good gear on there now, and the canopy's a bit more fitted out. We'll go through that later on. We've got a quiet time. At the moment, Pete and I are going to keep going up the beach. We've only just got here a little while ago to cook fish. We're going to keep going and uh, see if we can find another gutter with a few more fish in it. Hopefully, we'll get a couple for dinner. Too easy. And that is, again, just amazing isn't it? This is why we've got to look after this world, preserve this sort of stuff because too soon it's all gone if you don't. Cheers! Here we are, Frank, up at uh, Tiwa Beach again and we're just uh, catching some pippies or getting some pippies for bait. I don't know if anybody, well, a few people would have done this before, anybody who's fished the beach up this area knows the story well. If you have a look down on the ground there, you'll see a little bump under the tyre tracks. Well, that, viewers, is a pippy. And there's nothing like fresh bait when you're fishing. Look at that. Hey? Look at Pete's got. Now, that's getting close to what all will be. Don't go too hard. Let's think sustainably. We'll grab what we can. Be careful with traffic up here because it does get busy. That's okay. it. I went to East because there's still more there. Yeah, there's some more there. There's one there, one there, a couple there. I'm going to go all back here. There's heaps. So, all you do is you find those little bumps underneath the tire tracks. So, this is up at Double Island Point or TR Beach. Low tide is always the best time to do this. Uh, they're easy to see uh, once the tide recedes. And the cars go over the top and that seems a little indentation again. There we go. Dig underneath. Look at that. Fresh bait and fresh dinner. Now if you want to eat them, you get a bucket of uh, fresh salt water without any sand, drop them in there. For a few hours just so they clean out, so they can sort of rinse themselves out a bit, get the sand out of them, and then uh, into a fry pan with some um, butter and some garlic. And geez, I'll tell you what, they don't come up too bad like any mollusk. Um, they're, a good, they're a good feed. Uh, you know, indigenous people would eat these things for a thousand years, and uh, yeah, didn't do them any harm, they certainly taste alright. So, here we are, chasing pippies. Hopefully we get enough to get um, a few fish tonight, this afternoon. And look, how much fun is this? Great way to bring the kids up. We're going to have some kids and come up chasing pippies. Kids just love doing it. So they'll have a whale with time again. As Pete reminded before, watch out for the traffic because it gets pretty busy. Like that, I didn't even hear that guy coming. And it's probably the right top of here. So make sure you look at both ways. It does get really busy. Hey, hey cheers.
Hey, Frank from Sustainable Crusaders. Yes, up on the beach. And uh, yeah, second day. We were up here yesterday, come up in uh, about you know, mid morning. And uh, being here, we didn't do much footage last night because it was uh, just relaxed time. But have a look at that, isn't it stunning? This place is absolutely amazing. Can't beat that. For a morning view. We're only going to stay today, but we might book another night and stay tonight as well. It's just too nice and it's a Thursday, so we might take uh, tomorrow off as well <coughs> and uh, stay another night. But we'll do a quick look at the setup. A bit of a struggle to get in, but just while I'm here, just uh, there'll be some really big high tides at night. So you can see the way these banks have been undercut. It's amazing how high the tide got last night. I'm sure that's a shock to it's a bit of black rock. Pretty amazing. And yeah, not much beach. But a good thing about today, it's got a low high, so uh, hopefully uh, we can still travel the beach. I'm going to hope it might. It's that high, you've got nowhere to go. It's actually way too high to travel. We camped up behind the dunes, up at uh, T1 Beach, camping area number four. And there's yeah, some nice spots in here, and you can see on the ground, I don't know if you can make out, you can see how high the tide can come up by the uh, amount of debris laying around. We didn't have too much luck with the fish, and the fish last night and today, a few small bait. Good whiting yesterday, but apart from that, it's been pretty quiet. And here we are, parked up beyond the dunes. There's Pete, we're just packing up. It's going to start here another night, but we're going to head down to the beach and go down and see if we can find a better gutter to fish in overnight. The last night wasn't too successful, so yep, yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? What a spot. Got the D-Max. Keep packing the swag and chuck the swags on top of the truck and nick off back down the other way. Pretty comfy. Pretty well set up. Might do a quick run through the truck later on where you reset up again. He's cleaning up his tent. Yeah, nice spot. Anyway, we'll pack up and head down the beach and see if we can find a better gutter to fish. See ya. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. There's a big sand guy and I just climbed up a tree there. He's come down to have a look at the camp and see if he can pick up some scraps. They're so well camouflaged. A bit hard to see. I'm not him too much because he'll come flying along and he'll come my way. And then he wants to sit still and make out that he's not a galanta, he's just a part of the tree. Yeah, mate, we can see it. Anyway, a bit of the wild life.
Anyway, here we go. We've been out on the beach and uh, had a bit of a fish this afternoon and right up till dark. We're both freezing cold because we didn't take any bloody warmer gear down with us. We thought, oh, we, you know, we get, might catch a couple, you never know. And uh, yeah, we did have a bad little afternoon session with a few fish. And another beautiful night up here, of course. And bloody uh, Pete's just gone down and got some water and we're going to give it a give them a quick fill, clean them up. There you go. Nice average fish, got nice big ones. Yeah. We kind of left them biting because it got too cold and too dark and that's why I walked back from the gutter we were fishing. But, uh, yeah, good. Lovely well, we afternoon walked, session. And we only walked down to have a look. Yeah, we only went down for a bit of a prospect. So there we go. And yeah, I'll tell you what, we're going to have to clean these pretty quick so we can get warmed up and get some warm clothes on. Because it's a bit nippy. Just starting to do tour tonight. But yeah, have a lovely night. All set up. We have to cook some dinner after we clean the fish. And uh, yeah, it's been a good day. It's been a lovely day at uh, Two Hard Beach. Yeah, how you going? Frank from Sustainable Crusaders. We're just finishing up at TR Beach after a few days midweek fishing and camping. Been absolutely amazing uh, as usual. Uh, we got a few fish and enjoyed ourselves thoroughly, but we're just about ready to pack. We're packed out, ready to head for home. And we're gonna do a little bit of a clean up before we go, just to make sure we do our little bit and make sure the place is clean and we pick up other people's rubbish that's lying around, if there is any. And look, there's plenty, of course. Uh, not so much from campers this time, but more from the um, tidal influence and what is floating around our ocean, basically getting washed up on the beach. And the amount floating around our ocean is kind of scary because the amount turning up on the beach is even frightening. So, I got Pete down there at the moment, he's doing a bit of a pick up and picking up bits and pieces. And um, yeah, we'll go through the access tracks and a little bit of a walk around before we go and do our bit. So it'd be great if everybody got involved with that. You know, you're gonna go camping, you're gonna go to the beach, do a clean up on the way out. It's not hard, everybody does that. The amount of people that come up here, uh, this place will be kept in a pristine condition, or at least we can try and get it back to that. Anyway, Pete's down there now. He's got the, uh, the drift of bag and that was just two seconds. Two seconds, Pete's been here for like for a minute. And that's how much he's just picked up. It's amazing, isn't it, Pete? Yeah, mate. It's bloody amazing. It's disgusting. And look at that. Have yeah, a look at that. That's very fucking dirt in the, in the dirt. Yes. And the microplastic in here is horrifying. Sorry about the camera work, but trying to pick up things and take pictures at the same time is always a bit difficult. I'm trying to remember to look at the, the camera and not the eye. The microplastic in these places, lolly wrappers, well, I don't know. We just got to do better, can we, mate? Yeah. We've got to get people to do better than this. This is the uh, the debris line from the, the high tide, and we've had some big high tides. You know, big high tides. Look at this stuff. You know, what's that? That's one of those light sticks. Yeah. Oh, Why somebody's doing uh, drug? Waffle. Stacks. This stuff. 
Polystyrene is the worst thing in the world. Look how that breaks down. Oh, it doesn't break down. No, it doesn't break down, but it just falls apart and turns into what looks like fish eggs and gets eaten by birds and fish. Yeah, it's fine. All right. We'll keep going. I'll do a little bit of a clean up before we go home. And that's the bags. Let's hold that for a second, Pete. Get those from Drifter. Respect the bush. Respect the beach. Two in, two out. So take two bags in and take two bags out full. That's what you've got to do. Get those from Drifter. They're $8 just to get them posted out, but they are great, resealable, washable, or washed out a booth. <laughs> well, actually washable in a washing machine, but you can just wash that out. And they're great. Uh, here we go. What we got here? Marge lift, utter lift. No mistake. The amount is frightening. Alright guys, we're about to head to home. We're going to do a little bit more of a clean up and get out of here. All the traffic's coming up. All the traffic from the, on the Friday afternoon traffic's about to get here. Anyway, we're out of here. We're going to get back home. See ya.